I need coffee for this. Good morning everyone and welcome to the video where you all try to and probably successfully make me cry. Today I'm going to be doing my Christmas unboxing and sitting around me are gifts from you all which I, I don't even have the words for the amount of love that I feel just sitting around all of these packages. No amount of words can <laughs> express my gratefulness and how much I love you guys and just am so grateful that you are here. This is the sappy video, so just be ready because I'm in a sappy mood today. <laughs> so I do want to give a very quick blanket thank you to everyone that has sent me anything, but I also want to say that you never, ever, ever, ever have to send me anything. I am beyond grateful for anyone that feels like they are able or want to send me a gift for Christmas or for anything. Thank you to everyone all year who has supported me and it would not, I wouldn't do this without you. Like it's just the community is the number one reason why I do this. And so thank you to everyone who is even watching this video because if you're watching this video, you're supporting my channel and you are amazing. I think that that is all of the like super sappy. Let's open some presents and see how much I ball. I don't even know where to start. There are a couple of things that I had to save from the rain. Uh, there was one day, like literally one day in December where it rained and my post guy decided that he was not going to walk everything up to the front porch. I guess I'm just gonna grab something and let's see if I can get these packages open. Okay. Where's the gift notes? Nope, that's not it. Come on, Amazon. Don't be not giving me gift notes now. We've started this first package. Okay, there we go. Happy holidays. I'm so curious about this one from Brie from Four Paws in a Book. If somebody does have a channel, I will absolutely link them down below so you guys should go check them all out. But thank you so much, Brie, for this one. This is a Flame and Sparrow by S.M. Gaither. I've heard this is an enemies to lovers. I am so excited to give this a try. It is a chunky one. I'm excited. You guys know that I've been in my romantic fantasy romance era for kind of the last half of the year. I've really found that I enjoy those stories. And so I put a ton a fan row on my wish list and Brie picked me one of the perfect ones. So thank you so much, Brie. Okay, let's just grab this one. Finding the gift notes is always the hardest part about this before I see the book. Merry Christmas and thank you for a fun year from Tierra. Thank you so much, Tierra. Tierra is one of my patrons, and honestly, she always has the brightest smile and the most fun things to say. She has a gif for everything, too, which is amazing. And Tierra got me The Ranger of the Marizana by John Scorvone. This one I might actually try to get to sooner rather than later because it is a very wintry epic fantasy story, and I have had this on my list on my radar for forever. So thank you so much, Tierra. This is going to be a high priority for the beginning of the year. Next up, let's open one of the ones that I had to save from the rain. It is wrapped, which thankfully the two that were in the rain were wrapped, so they were pretty unscathed as far as the water goes. This one says, Mel, thank you so much for all the fun times this year. You are very much appreciated from Sherry. Sherry, thank you for being there, hanging out with me, never being afraid to tell me to read the book, enjoying dude bro fantasy with me, exploring your fantasy era with me. I love you so much. Um, okay, let's see if I can get this package open because I retied it, which means it's probably impossible to get into. Ooh, I got it. So Sherry got me The Providence of Fire by Brian Stadley. I am so excited to have the second book in this series. This is the sequel to The Emperor's Blades, which I am highly anticipating and definitely plan to pick up probably at the very beginning of the year next year. This one I've heard is even better than the first one. It is an epic fantasy about three siblings that are all having to deal with the aftermath of their father's death because he was the emperor and now everyone wants his kingdom. So excited to have this. Thank you so much, Sherry. And I'm glad that the rain did not murder it. Um... This one? <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to be able to get all these open. Ah, got it. No, is there not a gift note in here? No! I don't see a gift note for this one. No! 
Okay, well, if you're watching this and you sent this to me, please let me know who sent me Mark of the Damned by C.D. McKenna. This is the sequel to the book that I actually picked for my SPFBO semifinalist this year. It is an indie epic fantasy, and I could not wait to continue on with this series. So if you sent me this, please, please, please let me know because I am so excited to be picking this up finally. Thank you so much to whoever sent this to me. It is perfect. Ollie's trying to help. Hey, back up, buddy. Back up, buddy. Off, off, off. Next up is one of the ones with the pulley tab, which is very nice because those are way easier to get open. Okay, I can actually get to the notes in these. Okay, so this one says, Mel, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and a great 2024. Thanks for all your content this year and for all the chatting and sprinting from Emma. Emma, you are incredible. Emma is also a Patreon friend and she got me, ooh, what? She got me Abandoned by Blake Crouch. This is one of the only Blake Crouches that I have not read yet and I am so excited to pick this up. They redid the cover recently and it is just so pretty. Thank you so much to Emma. I appreciate you always. Oh, we have a helper that cannot possibly stand to not be getting presents. You'll get presents later. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> Mel, thank you for all that you do during the year. Merry Christmas from Jody. Thank you so much, Jody. Jody is also amazing and has been on our sprints and hanging out with us since the very beginning. So I appreciate you always, Jody. Thank you so much. And she got me. Ooh. Back in a Spell by Lana Harper, and I have not continued on in this series and desperately, desperately want to, so this is going to be a great push to get me to pick up the rest of the series. All right, we gotta roll up the sleeves now. Okay, this one's next. <laughs> Got it. Well, that's not the gift note. Where's the gift note? There it is. I love you so much. Thank you for being in my life. You truly have become a best friend, and I can't imagine not waking up to text from you every day from Cassidy. Cassidy, this one's the one that's going to make me cry. I never thought that BookTube could give me a best friend, and, and you were truly amazing and one of my best friends of all time, so I cannot wait to see you in April, and I'm not going to say anything else because I will start crying again. So, Cassidy got me the last mortal bond by brian stavley this is the third and the final book in the ah uh, okay <laughs> this is the third and final book in the emperor's blade series she read and binged this entire series this year loved it so much and told me that i absolutely needed to read it because she was pretty confident that i would enjoy the series as well so thank you so much to cassidy i cannot wait to pick this up and probably binge the series in the new year uh this one's a small one let's see what's in this one That didn't go well. Let's try the other side. Ha! Better on try two. Merry Christmas from Melissa. Thank you so much, Melissa. These are the um, zebra like midliner highlighters. So if you guys have been watching my channel recently, you'll see that I am getting into my annotation game and I've been annotating some fantasy romance, but also just books that I think I'm really, really going to love or books that I've been rereading that I know that I love. And I really wanted a couple of like more pastel highlighters. So thank you so much, Melissa. I am going to be putting these to good use. Okay, let's open the other one that I was afraid was going to get wet. So I saved it. This one is from Cassie. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great holiday from Cassandra Green. She always sends me like the most fun Instagram reels every time she sees something she thinks that I'm going to enjoy. So I love being able to see those and see all of your book hauls because Cassie likes book buying almost as much as I do. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ooh, and this one was shrink wrapped. Well, not shrink wrapped, but like wrapped. So it is definitely safe from the water. This is the 12th Kings in... Shirankai? Ooh, I might probably butcher that, but this is by Bradley P. DeBellio, and I don't know much about this one. I've heard really good things. It is a desert setting, which I really, really enjoy, and I'm so excited to finally give this a try. I think the last book in the series came out not too long ago, so it should be all finished and ready to catch up. Okay, let's open another smaller one. Well, that did not go well. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is also from Jody, And it says, David, I know mouse mats aren't in right now, but I thought you might have been feeling left out and the wording on this totally screamed for you. Let's face it, the rest of Patreon, really. So this is a gift for David? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a 
as I spin to burn off the crazy and it is a mouse pad, I'm definitely going to be giving him this. He is going to be so excited. If I see him between now and when I post this, I will absolutely show you guys his reaction to this. Thank yeah, you, Jody. Jody. Flip it over. You can see it. <laughs> I'm going to go buy a mouse just to use this now. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. If you guys have been watching, you might have seen it that David is obsessed with the spinner wheel. I think he likes it more than I do. I actually think he likes it more than he likes me. And I really should have bought him one for Christmas, but I slacked and Jody didn't. Jody had it under control. I, thank you so much. He is going to love that. That is absolutely perfect. <laughs> Okay, this one's next. Some of these are not perforated well. They don't pull. There we go. Just a little non-secret Santa to say thank you for all you do year-round. You're fabulous. Jody! Oh my gosh! You did not have to send me all of this, but thank you so much. She got me some new tabs. These are like the rounded tabs, which I've really been wanting to try. I think they're going to look incredible in the books. Thank you so much, Jody. You did too much, but I appreciate you. Okay. So far, we've only had one non-gift note. Can we make it the rest of the video like that? Probably not. Do you really think we could suck our Lexi into a buddy read? Oh, well, from Cassidy. Yes, I actually think that we could. Because we can suck our Lexi into anything. If we try hard enough. She actually told me what this is already. But, like, literally, this is the book that I want to start 2023, 2024 with. I am so excited to read this. I think I'm going to absolutely freaking love it. And I'm going to annotate the snot out of it. So, this is Blood and Steel by Helen Schuster. This is a fantasy romance that is, like, not enemies to lovers, but, like, forbidden lovers. Stabby female main character. You sold me on stabby female main character. There are two books currently out in this series and, then like, a standalone in the world. And the third book's release date just got moved up to February, so maybe I'll binge this series in February. I don't know, but I'm so excited to read it. And Cassidy knew that I was so excited to read it. Thank you so much, friend. Um, let's open this because it's a fancy box thing we do have a couple of boxes i'm going to save those till the end oh my gosh this thing is huge and it doesn't have a gift note no well crap if you sent me this please let me know because this is a time of dragons by philip c quantrell quantrelli how do you say this i don't know but this is i honestly don't know much about it. I just know that it's dragons. It's maybe part of another like spinoff series. I'm not really sure, but I'm so excited to read this. It is a chunky, chunky boy, but like look at the flop. This is a perfect indie book. This is incredible. It's huge. It's chunky. It's got a matte cover. Please let me know who you are if you sent me this because I am so excited to read this. Oh, this one's heavy. Let's see what this is. Gift notes are right on top. Don't run. Don't run. Merry Christmas from Melissa. Melissa, you did not have to do that. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to read this. Thank you, Melissa. She got me A Court So Cruel and Lovely by Stacia Stark. This is another fantasy romance. It actually was on the Goodreads Choice Awards, but it didn't push through to the final 10, so I wasn't able to pick it up for that, but I've heard that it is like quintessential fantasy romance, just tons of fun tropes and just a really good time, so I'm so excited to pick this up. And it's like a little cute paperback. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Melissa. Okay, next. I'm getting pretty good at that. Pretty good. Merry Christmas, Mel. I hope you have a holiday season as lovely as you from Bex. Bex, thank you so much. Also, you never sent me your wish list, ma'am. So I'm going to call you out live on the... Well, not live on the internet, but I'm going to call you out on the internet. Send me your wish list because I wanted to send you something for Christmas, but I don't have it. And if you don't send it to me, I'm going to have to sneak behind you to Cassidy and get your address. Thank you so much, Bex. I don't know if she heard us talking about this or what, but like, you remember that standalone that I was telling you about in the world of Blood and Steel that I really wanted to read? This is it. This is it. Thank you so much, Bex. This is absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, I'm so excited to read this. This is Slaying the Shadow Prince and Shadow Daddy. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Ah, thank you so much, folks. Ah, this is Jonathan. 
Mel, thank you for letting me be my snarky self. I hope 2024 only increases your love of reading and find you a watch in five star reads with Tori's book being the first. I can't wait to read it myself. Go Texas Go from Jonathan. Jonathan. <sighs> Jonathan. Jonathan came into my life, my booktube world uh, this year and has just been incredible. We have a running joke that I don't like books. Um, he thinks that I don't like anything. And also I'm a huge Crimson Tide Alabama fan and he is a huge Texas fan and if you guys know anything about college football you know that that is now a rivalry because shit went down at the beginning of the year and I'm hoping for a rematch Jonathan I'm hoping for a rematch and we're gonna be on Patreon and we're gonna watch it together thank you so much he got me Bloodstones by Tori Tekken I'm thrilled to have this book my cat's currently climbing on the mountain that is the paper over here Thank you so much to Jonathan. I'm so excited to have this. Tori is a fellow booktuber. I will leave her channel down in the description box below, but she is also a self-published fantasy author. I have phased. I desperately need to get to it, but she also wrote one of the Advent of Winter short stories, which I really, really loved and could not wait to pick up this book. I mean, I want to know about this guy on the cover. It sounds absolutely incredible. I'm so excited to have this and finally be able to pick it up. Thank you so much, Jonathan. So I think that this is the last, like, package, and then we have a couple of boxes to unbox. Good vibes for the book from Rachel. <laughs> ah, good vibes for the book from Rachel. This is the brand new release, The Pale Dragon by Alec Hudson. This is the same author that wrote The Umbral Storm, which I read for SPFBO last year and loved it. This one I know he says is pretty special to his heart because he wrote it I think after his mom passed away. So I am so excited to read this. It is the Empire of Flame and Fang. Oh, I cannot wait. Thank you so much, Rachel. Um, I'm assuming you bought yourself one. So we're going to buddy read, right? Okay. Uh, boxes time, I guess. So first up is this little small box. I love the small boxes. I really should have brought some scissors in here, but we're going to use my fingernails and pray that they're sharp enough. And you guys are just going to watch me struggle. Got it. Oh, this one's gift wrapped. You guys never have to gift wrap. Okay. We have it. Merry Christmas, my sweet friend. It's so thankful to know you. I've heard good things about this book, so I hope you end up loving it from Monica. Monica, I love you. Monica is one of Lexi's really good friends that she has known for years. And Monica just recently started a channel, so I will absolutely link Monica down below. But I have thoroughly just loved getting to know you this year, Monica. You are incredible, and I cannot wait for more fun shenanigans to come. I'm about to get all of this stuff in my coffee is what I'm about to do. Ooh! So Monica got me Erase the Sands by Sarah Beth Durst. I don't remember which video it was, but I read Queen of Blood this year and really enjoyed it. It was one of my most surprising books, and this is by the same author. It's a desert setting, which you guys know I really, really enjoy, and I'm so excited to read this. Like, look at that lion. He looks incredible. I want to know more about him. Thank you so much, Monica. Okay, um, let's do a bigger box this time. Oh my goodness, this has several things in it. Who sent this to me? I don't want to see all the stuff, but like, where's the gift note? Thank you for a wonderful friendship to many more from Claire. Claire, you are incredible. Claire is also one of the people that I'm going to be getting to meet at a Polycon. It was actually, I think, Claire's idea for us all to go and meet up at a Polycon in 2024. I cannot wait to meet you, Claire. You do too much, as always. I love you so much. So Claire got me a couple of things. She got me some tabs, which ah, I'm so excited to have these. These colors look incredible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Claire. And then two books? Claire! The first one she got me is Frost by C.N. Crawford. I've heard Tori from Tori from the Pages talk about this one, and she said that it is a lot of fun. I think it may have a trial element in the beginning, and it is wintry, so maybe I need to do a winter fantasy vlog in the beginning of the year. I don't know, but this sounds incredible. Thank you, Claire. And then she also got me one that I just finished and really, really enjoyed. And that is A Crown of Oaths and Curses by Jay Bree. This was in my last vlog that I did, the anticipated reading vlog. And I had some like mixed feelings on this one, but all in all, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time. So I'm so thankful to finally have this. Thank you so much, Claire. Okay, three more boxes. Let's do one more big one and then a small one and then a big one again. 
Merry Christmas, Mel. I hope you enjoy this one from Kelsey. Thank you so much, Kelsey. This is absolutely perfect because Kelsey and I are currently buddy reading with the rest of the Patreon, the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. I'm still missing, I think it's uh, Iron Gold, which I need to pick up, but this is absolutely perfect, Kelsey. We're loving Morningstar right now. Thank you so much. This is a science fiction fantasy series that I've heard the second trilogy, not a trilogy anymore, is like grimdark, brutal, and absolutely freaking incredible. So thank you so much, Kelsey. I cannot wait to read this with you in the second half of the year. We have a very large stack going on over here, you guys. No, no, not allowed to cry again until the end. Not allowed. Okay, next. The gift note is right on top. Perfect. Okay. Merry Christmas. This cover intrigues me so much. It could be a, a romance book, but clearly it's not from the synopsis from Clementine. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Ooh, yes, 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 Clementine. Yes. Okay, hang on. It's in a little shrinky wrap thing. Let me get it open. So this is Blood of an Exile by Brian Noslin. I've seen this around everywhere, but I've never been able to like find it in a bookstore. I've always found like books two and three, but never book one. I see what you mean about it looking like a romance, but no, it is an epic fantasy. Thank you so much, Clementine. Clementine is also one that has been there with me since the very beginning, and I love you and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, this is the last package. It's a little beat up, but that's okay. I think it'll still be okay. <laughs> Um, somebody just heard me speaking and blessed me. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and the happiest New Year, Mel. I have a love spending time with you this year and look forward to a fantastic 2024. Look forward to reading this with you soon, Deb. Deb, 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 Deb. Deb is one of the most supportive people that I know and I honestly could not do this without you. I appreciate you so much. Deb is always there for a buddy read, always there to support and I honestly thank you. Thank you so so much. Um, she got me Iron Gold which I literally just got done saying that was the only one that I was missing in the Red Rising series so thank you so much Deb. This is the one that we're going to be reading in January if I'm being completely honest with myself probably February but I cannot wait to pick this up. Deb and I will be reading this together so along with the rest of the Patreon so Deb I cannot wait to read this with you. I hope that we absolutely adore it. And then the last one that I wanted to show you guys is one that we actually did for our Patreon um, Christmas party. We did a Secret Santa gift exchange. And Jamie sent me this one. She said, thank you for being amazing. Merry Christmas from Jamie. And I'm so excited to have this. It is Blood Over Bright Haven by M.L. Wang. This is a school setting self-published fantasy that I have heard amazing things about. So I'm so excited to read this. I had already opened this for the Christmas party, but thank you so much. Okay, um, I don't know what else to say. You guys, I love you so much. I cannot believe that I am sitting next to such a huge stack of books and I feel beyond blessed and grateful and just, I don't know what else to say. You guys are incredible and I am going to start like bawling like a crazy person if I don't stop this video now. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me as always. If you were here and you just want to let me know that you were hanging out, leave me a gift emoji down in the comments below. If you sent me Mart of the Damned or a time of dragons please comment on this video instagram dm me twitter dm me whatever you got to do let me know that you were the one that sent these to me i will be posting on instagram as well to see if i can figure out who sent them but thank you guys so much as always again never have to send me anything i just appreciate you being here hanging out watching my channel and i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop gushing now because i've repeated myself enough but as always links to my patreon instagram twitter and goodreads are all in the description box below please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you want to and I will see you guys next time. Bye!